What's going on? Welcome to another episode of The Hummer Show. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe and turn that post notification on. And if you're not, welcome back. So today, my wife and I are getting our Tesla wall connector installed in our home. We just moved to our home. Before moving here, we actually lived in an apartment where we had to drive between 15 to 20 minutes away just to charge. It was cool, but you can imagine it was annoying. Really annoying but it's gonna feel so good to be able to charge at home and actually get that electric vehicle experience by conveniently charging at home. So today, I will be doing an unboxing of the Tesla wall connector, showing you guys how to order it, how to find an electrician, also provide you the cost of service, and give you my conclusion on the product. It's been a lot of resources and information online that tells you, you know, whether you should get the NEMA 15, 50 plug or the wall connector. So I'm gonna give you all of that information towards the end. So make sure you stay tuned. With that being said, let's get right into it. <laughs> this is the box the Tesla wall connector comes in. You know, Tesla is big on the minimalistic look and aesthetics, and this box brings you all of that. The wall connector is the most convenient charging solution with up to 44 miles of range added per hour, multiple power settings, and a sleek, versatile design. Inside the box, you have the main head unit and charging cord. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought there would be way more pieces in the box than there is. And of course, there are some instructions you can give to your electrician or you can use to install the wall connector yourself. <laughs> I chose to use an electrician. Now how do you order this thing? First go to the Tesla website. There are two places on the website where you can go to purchase the wall connector. You can click on shop or you can click the three horizontal bars which is the menu and click on charging. However, the easiest way is to click on shop. Scroll down and under best seller you will see the wall connector. Click there. It will take you to the wall connector page where you can see pictures of it and some information about it. There are two cable lengths you can choose from, the 18 foot or the eight and a half foot. I chose to go with a longer cord to give me some flexibility. Once you choose your option, add to the cart, and make your purchase. With this installation, you also get a federal tax credit just for installing a charging unit in your home. You can find more of this information on this page here. Now to finding an electrician. Tesla recommends that the installation should be completed by a qualified electrician. As you see here, there is a link to find an electrician. Click here. It would take you to a page where you could find all the qualified electrical companies who can install your wall connector for you. As you see, I am in the Orlando area and the qualified electrical companies are listed below. On this page, Tesla does a good job of advertising the companies. You can call, email, or even go to their websites by clicking learn more. I decided to go with CDW Electrical, not because they're at the top of the list. But the other companies also specialize in solar panels and I already knew I wanted to go with Tesla for panels and didn't want to entertain those conversations. And plus, after visiting CBW Electrical's page, I was pretty sold. Click the learn more button to go to the company's website. You can see reviews, other companies they have worked with, and this is where I actually requested a quote and booked my service. CDW was quick. Less than 10 minutes after my request, I received an email from one of the representatives who helped me get situated and schedule the appointment. You can also browse the page to find additional information. I definitely recommend visiting the Tesla website when you can. There is so much good information on here. Our electrician Austin was amazing. He installed the wall connector in less than 30 minutes, cleaned up, gave great conversation, and even assisted with configuring the wall connector to the network. If you are in the Orlando area, CDW Electrical is the company to use. So they said, oh, now. Oh. Yes, yes. 
high gas prices. <laughs> There's lots of information online on whether you should install a 1550 outlet or a wall connector. My conclusion is do what's best for you and your pockets because at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. The wall connector is $500 and the installation, for me at least, was $479. So you're paying roughly about $1,000 to get your wall connector and installation, right? In some cases, it's more depending on how far you are from your uh, actual main breaker. The wall connector is much more expensive, but you get faster charge. And you also get the opportunity to take advantage of any brilliant updates Elon has, because we all know when he sends an update, he updates everything about it. <laughs> but yes, this concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking to purchasing a Tesla or solar with Tesla, I need you to do something. Use my referral code in the description below. I'll be back with another review on this product in the next few months. We also have some other amazing things going on. I'm uh, looking forward to getting our solar panels and power walls installed very shortly, so a video will be coming up on that. So if you're ready for that, definitely subscribe to this channel and more content from The Humble Show is on the way. You dig?